Hey everybody, it's Kirsten with Top Travel Eat and today I'm going to tell you why it's cheaper for us to live here in Portugal than in the United States. Now, let me start out by saying that when you read online forums, watch YouTube videos, look at advertisements plugging Portugal as a great place to live because it's cheaper, the narrative always turns to, well, it's really not cheaper, or it's only cheaper with some things and not other things, but we never get any real concrete examples. So in this video, I'm gonna give you the numbers from this video where I talked about our budget uh, for April 2022. I'm gonna compare that budget or those expenses with our expenses from February 2020 when we were living in San Diego, California. Before I get into the numbers, let me say this. Everybody moves to Portugal or anywhere else for a variety of different reasons. And I've heard several people say that people shouldn't move to Portugal simply because they think it's cheaper. That's not a good enough reason. Two things on that. One, I don't think anybody should tell anyone why or why not they should do something um let alone moving to portugal or anything um, people can make up their own minds um, we're all adults here um, second uh, i don't think anyone should judge anyone's reason for moving to portugal um, everybody's got their own reasons and personally for us one of the reasons, one of the primary reasons we chose Portugal is simply because it is cheaper for us. So for us, that is a valid reason and it can be a valid reason for many people. One more thing along that vein. Okay, so we do not work. One of the reasons we left the United States was because we wanted to find a place to live where we could afford to live without working. We are here in Portugal on a military pension that Mark receives every month. So we could not afford to live in San Diego on that pension. Now, could we afford to live in other places in the United States on that pension? Yes, probably. But did we want to live in those other places in the United States that we could afford to live on that pension? No. So we loved living in San Diego and we loved our life in San Diego. It wasn't sustainable unless I was working full time and we're not of social security age yet we have that to look forward to but we also really just wanted to cut down the stressors in life that come with working full-time really i mean that's the bottom line so the last thing i'll say in this regard is if I were a remote worker or if I were still working full time, I don't think we would have chosen to come to Portugal. There's a whole world out there and if we had the level of income that we had while we were living in the United States, Portugal would not be at the top of our list with a lot more income. Um, we love it here and it is a great place to be um, for us, especially just hanging out and enjoying life here. But if I were still working full time, Portugal would not be the choice for us. So let me get into the numbers and compare our April 22 Portugal budget to our February 2020 San Diego budget. So health insurance. 
So here in Portugal, our health insurance is 2,500 euro a year, and that breaks down to about 209 euro per month. Um, we have an excellent plan. Um, we're very happy with our insurance coverage here. Now, in San Diego, we had an excellent employer-sponsored insurance plan, and it was very affordable. Uh, we were always fortunate to have health insurance through my employer. The premium in February 2020, and pretty much every month, for the both of us was $254. Now, we're fortunate that we come from an area where there are lots of excellent hospitals. We got excellent medical care in San Diego, and it was affordable. Um, the problem is it's only affordable if it's attached to your employer. Um, say what you will about California, high taxes, etc., etc. But California offers um, a lot of protections, and healthcare is one of them. Basically, if you have a job where your employer provides insurance, it's probably not going to cost you very much. So, like I said, two hundred and fifty-four dollars a month for our insurance in San Diego. Next, we'll talk about rent. Here in Lisbon, we're paying 1,050 euro for a T1. In San Diego, we were living in a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment, and our rent was $2,604 a month. So obviously that is where our biggest savings comes in. Next, we're gonna talk about transportation. Living here in Lisbon, we each get a transport pass every month for 40 euro, so it's 80 euro a month for the both of us. We have lived a carless lifestyle in the past, and we knew exactly what it was going to take for us to live that carless lifestyle and make it a pleasure and not a burden. So we definitely are saving on transport costs here in Lisbon. In San Diego, we each had a car, uh, we had two car payments, and we had an insurance payment. Um, one car payment was $498 a month, and the other one was $343 a month. Our insurance was $203 a month. So right there on transport, by being in Portugal without a car, versus being in San Diego with two cars and car insurance, we're probably saving around $900 a month, uh, give or take, plus or minus. Um, obviously, if we choose to get a car here in the future, we can either buy it outright or count on one car for the both of us since we don't need it for working and our payment and insurance would probably be a lot lower than it was back in the US. Next, our water bill. Here in Lisbon, it averages about 24 euro a month now. At the time of that video, it was 17 euro a month, but it's been readjusted since we've been in this apartment for just about a year, and we use a little more water than the previous tenants. Um, in San Diego, we lived in an apartment, so we were charged for water and trash, and the total for that each month was $40. Now, I'll talk about electric. Our electric bill in April was 74 euro. It's probably averaging about 84 euro now, just to again make that adjustment now that we've been in the apartment for about a year and our electric bill in San Diego for the month of February 2020 was $267. Um, obviously that figure is a couple of years old. We all know energy rates have gone up since then so I can even imagine that that $267 per month would be even more today. 
Next, I'm going to talk about our TV, cell phones, and internet. Um, we have a package here in Portugal where it's all combined together and we pay 118 euro per month. Um, we had separate services back in the United States. Um, we did away with cable TV in 2019, actually, because it just became too costly for what it was offering. So in February 2020, we were streaming only and we used Hulu, um, no ads, live TV, and for that, we were paying $88 a month for the TV portion of that. Next, we would have our Wi-Fi, and that cost us $55 a month. And our cell phones, we had AT&T. Um, we had been with them for years and years and years. Um, our bill was $225 euro i'm sorry our bill was 225 dollars a month two cell phones all the data um the cost of that is ridiculous okay next eating out i will say that we don't eat out here in portugal nearly as much as we did in san diego um, in San Diego, we just enjoyed a variety of foods. There were a lot of it and a lot of different kinds, and it was all good. Um, here, there is less variety, um, and we also have time to really enjoy cooking our own food, so we do that. Eating out in April 2022, we spent 171 euro here and in San Diego in February of 2022 we spent $277 eating out. I will say in February of 2020 we went on a trip to Hawaii so we were gone for a little bit of the month and I didn't include any of those costs um, in our base monthly costs. Um, so there were probably less days at home in San Diego. So the eating out there might overall have been a little bit higher. Okay, next groceries. Now, again, just based on what I said about eating out, our grocery bill here in Portugal is way more than it was in San Diego, simply because in San Diego, we went out to eat more um, and bought less groceries. So here in Portugal in April, our grocery bill was 705 euro, and that seems about right um, uh, a month for us. We do spend a lot of money at the grocery stores. In February of 2020, our grocery bill in San Diego was $477. Um, obviously that figure is going to be a lot more now because I understand that the prices of groceries from speaking with family members have just gone up significantly um, and cost everything costs way more than it did two years ago but if you total all of those basic expenses up and these are just our base expenses. We all have other miscellaneous expenses that we need to factor in. Um, I'm not even including savings in these figures and uh, setting, you know, just everything that you set money aside for every month. Um, any surprises that you can have come up each month. But if you total these base expenses here in Portugal, um, the total is 2,205 euro in a month. And in San Diego, those base expenses amounted to $4,536 a month. So as you can see from the numbers, um, us living here on Mark's military pension is much more cost effective than living in the United States with 
me working full time and earning a very healthy income. Um, obviously, the income allows lots of opportunities to do lots of things. And where we really feel that the most here in Portugal is not traveling. Um, we used to travel a lot um, in our life back in San Diego, but we're adjusting and actually I'm really finding it nice just to kind of sit in the moment and enjoy the moment really. But I will tell you, I miss all the extra money and I miss the trips, but I wouldn't trade it for the peace of mind and the less stress. You just can't put a price on that. So, as always, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about this video. I always enjoy your comments. Always interested to hear what you think. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.